Hello, today we're working on a 2019 classic uh, Chevy Silverado 5.3 6L80 six speed transmission. So we are tuning the uh, transmission and the engine as well. Uh, we're deleting the DOD, which causes issues on the transmission. So after reading the uh, computers with uh, HV tuners, we're gonna open up our file. We're gonna go to uh, right here on engine. We're gonna go under the fuel tab and then lean fuel savings. Then you're gonna have DOD enabled and you're just gonna turn it off, clicking disabled. We're gonna go under transmission to do the uh, torque converter now. You're gonna have several tabs, general, manual, shift, general, uh, all the shifting, characteristics of this tr transmission we're not going to touch any of that at all um all we're going to do is go straight to torque converter we're going to go first under the general tab you're going to turn off ac off on first gear you're going to uh click right here on this blank sp spot right there you're going to click here on the calculator uh, you're going to hit zero and then you're going to hit um, replace right here or equals and it'll make it zero. And what you're going to do to make it easier because you have six tabs to do that on. And then we're going to hit copy. You're going to get out of this tab. You're going to go onto your onto, uh, the second uh, slip off and you're gonna hit paste and it'll automatically uh, pass the zero zero so you won't have to click here and go into the the uh, replace tab just click paste and you're gonna do that with all these six tabs then you're gonna go to your minimal slip AC on it's gonna be at three rpms you're gonna turn it off entirely at zero DOD slip you're gonna hit disable even though since the engine it's never actually gonna go into DOD because it's turned off on the computer just uh, you know disable it while you're there um, after that this is all we're gonna do we're not gonna mess up with the pressure so you don't want to touch them um, and then we're gonna go to the apply release tab and we're gonna go under apply and release um, here on this one you're gonna have several different numbers at which miles per hour you want the uh, torque converter to lock in you're gonna disable all these at 512 kilometers per hour or miles and miles an hour is gonna be a different number but it's basically a number uh, a speed of miles per hour that the in the truck is never gonna reach so that uh, the converter locks in at that speed which it will never get there so the converter is never going to lock in and you're going to go into the release tab the release has to be a number smaller by one mile than this one so here we're going to go under release and as you guys can see we're going to put them put them next to each other the apply is going to be 512 the release is going to be 511 on the uh, normal normal under normal throttle and this is going to be this one normal and then the pattern a is going to be the exact same thing we're going to hit the release same thing 511 um, on the pattern b it's 511 it's already that it comes like that from factory then on hot trans you're also going to going to want to do it it's on hot trans um the tap up and down um this is a fun fact whenever you put the transmission shifter all the way down um to where it shows um the uh, manual low one and then you know when you shift it manually uh, the converter never locks in so if you don't have HP tuners um, and to turn off the torque converter what you can do is uh, every time you drive the truck go all the way 
until you hit the low section, the manual section, and that will disable the torque converter lockup for free, basically. And so the same thing for the release. This is done for us by Chevy. Under full throttle, you're also going to want to take it off. Be careful here. It's uh, You're going to have four rows. Apply, apply, and then release, release, one through four. And it's going to be 512, 511, same thing. Pattern A, again, same thing. Pattern B, 511, 510. It's done from the factory um, and that is basically it now we're just going to uh, go ahead and hit right calibration and we're gonna um, be writing both because remember we are uh, deleting the DOD so we are running both on engine and transmission so now we just wait for it to read and that will be done and ready we're not gonna have DLD or uh, torque converter lockup and this transmission will last for so many more miles without having to do anything to it thank you guys for watching if you have any more questions if you have any video suggestions please comment it on the comment section and I will take a look into it